G'day guys, my name is Lord Tomo here again with another Sonic the Hedgehog toy item collectible review. As you already know, I am Lord Tomo. And we have the little blue star here, Sonic the Hedgehog. Seems to be messing around with my Vader here. Ah, uh, how epic is the backdrop on my Vader? It's Sonic. <laughs> anyway, we'll put that aside and uh, we'll get into the actual review. Now this uh, item, uh, how do I explain it? This item has a lot of nostalgic effect in more ways than one. I'll show you what it is and obviously, you know, talk briefly about it. But this is a Sonic the Hedgehog, a stereo cassette player. It's not actually pronounced like that, as you can probably imagine. But it's actually Sonic the Hedgehog stereo cassette player. A scene. I love this. I love this bit here already. A scene in the hit video game by Sega. Yeah. Good times, good times. Now, why this is nostalgic in more ways than one is simply because it's unless you're an older viewer in general or just somebody who who's just not, not necessarily into sonic but just uh you know older ish <laughs> than the average uh, gamer now then you probably would remember this it's basically a cassette player obviously by the title that's a given now little brief history which would obviously explain a little bit what we're going to be talking about and before we get into it Prior to the generations of downloads like iTunes, etc., etc., we had CD players. Prior to CD players, we had cassette players. Prior to cassette players, we had vinyl CDs, which was like pretty much a digital CD, but massive. This is one step ahead of that, which is a cassette player, which is a little cassette. You can probably Wikipedia this yourself if you wanted to. There's a little cassette player you put in, and it's just basically like tape where you can rewind, fast forward, play, etc., etc. It was obviously a step. Uh, I say that because I actually had one, not this one, but a different one as a kid growing up, and it was pretty, you know, fun and you know, joysome back in the day. I feel like I'm, I'm showing my age now, which, guys, I have not hit the age of 30 yet. I'm impressed of that. <laughs> now, obviously, um, this comes in its obviously mid condition package, and that's how I got it. That's how I wanted. However, I do have another one, which obviously, you know, which will expand on this review as I do want to showcase as much as possible now already the vibe that I'm getting from this isn't the best this isn't is this if this didn't have any nostalgic um, how would you say nostalgic feelings to it um, not necessarily the actual item itself but just the whole cassette aspect of it then just as a something on my screen then I wouldn't have gotten this item to begin with to be directly honest with you but the fact that this has a lot of nostalgic effects to it is one of the reasons why I purchased it the reason why I wouldn't have necessarily purchased this myself is straight out of the bat. It's it's color scheme. It's just horrendous. It's just horrible, really. Just look at it. It's red. It doesn't... Sonic isn't red. Knuckles, yeah, I could understand. You know, for the most part, maybe Tails. Red, you know, orange and red. That kind of is very harmonious in that sense. But Sonic is blue. They should have just stuck with blue. I don't know why they didn't. But this is the actual front cover. So obviously, as we mentioned at the very top, you have a scene in the hit video game Sega. Obviously promoting, you have obviously what it is, Sonic the Hedgehog, and obviously what it is, the real cassette player. Good times, good times. This is the actual item, of course I do have another one which I'm going to showcase of course. Um, there are bits and pieces that I don't have in the other one that I'll briefly touch up on here. Um, I'm pretty sure this was released both in the USA. Yep, this was, this was actually created in the USA. I don't know which company created it actually. Um, I'm guessing it's SCH250. I doubt it. Uh, come on, Spectra. Spectra. That's the one. Spectra. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Spectra. So the actual company made this is Spectra, which <laughs> you know, I even I don't even know. Yeah, it's Spectra Merchandising International. Haha, and you got it somewhere. So yeah, the extra company itself that created this is Spectra, and this was more or less released, if I'm not mistaken, 1993, thereabouts, give or take a year maybe. So yeah, pretty impressive. So the overall packaging did not sell me. Like, even if I was a kid, I probably would not probably buy this. Now, they did make two releases of this. There was a China, like a Asian version, I was about to say Chinese, and I would probably get flame for that. <laughs> So it's, it's an Asian one, and I'm pretty sure it's Japanese, but I'm just going to stick with Asia. I'm pretty sure it's Japanese. So it's either Japanese slash Asia and the US. Now, the only major difference between obviously the Asian version to that of the American version is this little stick up here, which has a whole bunch of stuff. I have no I have absolutely no idea. 
probably say something like in native. And at the very bottom, you have obviously a picture of good old Sonic the Hedgehog. Pretty cute, pretty impressive. You have just, I'm, I'm guessing this is the model, the SCH250. I'm only assuming there. And it's got its various picture. Play, fast forward, and stop. It doesn't have a rewind, which is quite weird. Does it have a rewind? No, it doesn't. Well, what do you know? Like I said, probably that does not have a rewind. I guess it was a pre release. I don't know. You have detachable built clip. Consume products, safely consume, bloody blah, 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 blah. So yeah, so straight out of the bag if you saw this, if you weren't a Die Hard Sonic fan, you probably wouldn't pick this up as well. I guess what they try to do with this, I could be wrong obviously, but was kind of like mass market to the mass audience. As in, if you're into Sonic, you're going to have to buy this, but if you're not into Sonic, it just has a Sonic little head, so people won't necessarily know you're into Sonic as much as you think you like to be. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm already assuming. At the back is probably... The back is probably, to me, by far the most interesting, if at all, compared to the front. I think the back is more, uh, I guess, limer, lim, lumin, I was going to say luminescent or luminari. It's basically more vibrant, more vivid than that at the front. Whereby, over here, it's kind of like a mesh of colors. Ugh. And over here, it's obviously what it is. Uh, at the very back, you have, a, you have where it's made from. China, no doubt, most things are. And at the very top here, Spectrum Merchandise International. Uh, yes, it's one of those one of those days, guys. Three hundred North Kimbo Avenue, Chicago. Well, oh, Chicago. It's it's made in the U.S. Wait, no, it's made in China, but I'm guessing the the actual headquarters is in Chicago. You have a little instruction sheet, which I when I cut the second one, I try to get as complete as possible. A for as a giveaway, and B just to you know showcase everything. This is generally just generally the the, the actual you know the what's the wording for it. Just the general instructions for it, how to put the batteries, how the volume goes in, etc., etc. I'm gonna go through with the, I'm gonna go with through with the second one. So that's what. Now the only thing that my second one doesn't have that this one does have is two things. It has the clip, which is over here. Basically, you just attach it to your belt like a cool little retro 1980s kid. Awesome! And you have obviously the old school headphones there. Now the earphones themselves aren't too crazily impressive. They're just your standard white earphones that you would expect and it just goes your head there's nothing too awesome in that regards that's why I more or less did this review now opposed to just trying to collect the earphones as well because honestly it's it's nothing it's just a standard just you have the sponges and you have obviously the if you look at here just the cabling of it and also if you look at the side here you also have the um the the handlebar you should know the I don't even know what you call it the, the strap on the strap the strap there you go the strap what was I saying, honestly? So that's pretty much it, really. So yeah, so it comes with that, and the earphones are pretty nifty. The the earphones, this is designed for kids. I will show you why, but the earphones are more or less meh. So yeah, and obviously you have a barcode. Ah, uh, yes, you have a barcode. Just double checking my other one. So generally, the packaging itself isn't too impressive. Not necessarily a great display piece. It definitely doesn't stand well with my other collections, but it's there, I suppose. I did get this simply because a, obviously, Sonic and B is a nostalgic effect. You know, growing up with the whole cassette thing. So that's that. Now I'll show you the actual. I mean, I'm going to put this somewhere. I'm going to put it here because that's what I do. So this is the actual item itself, out of its packaging. Obviously, the only two things it doesn't have is the, you know. What did I call it again? I'm having one of those horrible days. Those clip ons, the clips, that's right, the clips. Uh, so basically the clips there, you basically attach it to your belt, which is pretty hefty. Mind you, back then it was pretty much the cool thing to do. Back then it was like awesome to have that. So, you know, just a little from now kids have iPhones and Galaxy phones and all that sort of stuff, which isn't bad, it's just, it's funny to see the skip of generations, I suppose. And obviously you have the, the strap, which is already all connected onto the actual unit itself. Basically the strap is just connected through these little loopholes. Now as I mentioned, it's more or less designed for kids. As you can probably tell, I'm just going to lift it up and down. It's it's clean. No, I'm not going to you know put this on myself and go, Hey man, I'm trying to be hipster here. I'm awesome. I'm cool. I love me. Now this is obviously designed for little kids, which isn't necessarily bad, I suppose. Now, the on the actual front itself, you just have a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is probably, there's two, there's two remnants of being a Sonic item, and this is one of them, which is just a picture of the classic, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog 
and on the very top you just have the word Sonic the Hedgehog. Those are the two remnants that just make basically make this Sonic the Hedgehog item. It's kind of a meh item. Like I said, I'm guessing the marketing point of view was if you like Sonic, this is awesome. If you don't like Sonic, all you have to do is just live by that. My only assumption, obviously, been a while. Now, the overall color scheme to me is once again pretty kind of intuitive. It, it's pretty, it's pretty, doesn't, you know, I'm not a Nazi, but it doesn't really give you the vibe. It's like you got blue, you got orange, and you got red. But, eh? That's my only reaction to this, to be honest. Uh, if you really want to be a hardcore creative and really hardcore, oh my god, I want to use my imagination, you can think the blue, it's not even, it's kind of like a dark blue, if at all, but it's kind of more of a purplish. But let's just assume that it's a blue. So blue is a Sonic, red is the Knuckles, and orange is Tails. That's if you want to be a hardcore, para, you know, paranormal, you know, para, 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 para. <laughs> Um, pretty much paranoid sort of aspect of it guys you can clearly tell this is not the best day but I'm just gonna upload this anyway because I think this is a pretty rad review so yeah that's the actual um, thing it kind of follows through the whole scheme over there and including the back which is eh, there it is, whatevs now how do you take the tape out you put it out and you put it in simple as that really now some of the newer models, the ones I had back as a kid, you press the button and actually inject it. But this one's more or less, you just basically grab it from the side and put it in. The inside isn't too crazy. I wouldn't go too much into detail with that. It's just a standard cassette player, standard stuff. Nothing too crazy there. At the very top, you've got three buttons. Now it's obviously, oh please, please focus. No, okay. So there's three. There's stop, fast forward, and play. So this is the stop. This is the fast forward and this is the play. New cassette models, kind of like new features like iPhones for instance, where you got like iPhone 4 and iPhone S, which is Siri for example. They had like a rewind button. This one does not have a rewind button. I don't know why, um, but no, it doesn't have it. Life is life, I suppose. On the actual side, on this side, there's absolutely, absolutely nothing. How about at the very bottom, you have a bunch of miscellaneous things. Now, I'm going to bring this in. It just has a picture. So, it requires two AA batteries, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two AA batteries. Now, the way you basically do it is you hinge down, and congratulations, you have the pocket to put the battery in. You slide the batteries in, and you close it, and this is powered. Now, I'm pretty sure they didn't have rechargeable batteries there, but they had, like, heavy-duty Duracell sort of batteries. So, I guess this lasted for a while. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the mechanics on that side. On the actual back, you just have a bunch of missile. This is obviously where the clip goes, but you can actually remove it. Surprise, surprise. Now, on the actual clip itself, I hope this focuses. Uh, probably won't. But on the clip itself, you have a little button where you can lift it and do like kind of like a release, which isn't that bad, I suppose. And you just have some shameless of marketing spectra. Do -do 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 -do, spectra. Pretty awesome. And obviously, does it. This is please have model number ready for customer service. Oh, sweet ass, they actually still have customer service for this, I'm guessing. Now, I'm going to prank call this number just to see if this still works, but there's a number here which is 1-800-777-5331. Now, I'm actually going to prank call them today, see if they're still operational. And say, so I have an issue with my 20-year-old cassette player, I want it fixed ASAP. Which is false, because A, they can't do that in the warranty, and B, this is, you know, fairly relic and it actually still works <laughs> on the actual side you have obviously the port the 3.5 millimeter jack where you put the headphones in which as made mention it's nothing too impressive the actual earphones itself it's just spongy and just a cylindrical sort of shape nothing too meh, crazy there and obviously on this side you just have the volume up and the volume down phone plus phone down so yeah so that's on that side so overall the item look to be directly honest if it wasn't for the fact that I didn't have some nostalgic if I was like I don't know 14 maybe if I'm like 13 now I'm not 13 but obviously obviously people but let's say if I was 13 I'm just gonna put uh, this one down if I was like say 13 or whatnot and I was into collecting Sonic items and I saw this I probably wouldn't buy it to be directly honest but obviously I've you know been of my age you know I'm 26 if you guys want to know 26 and still into Sonic. Awesome! <laughs> but yeah, so if I was obviously now, I have some, you know, some sort of connection to the retro side of me, I, I guess to the older side of me. I remember the back of the days of the whole cassette place and whatnot. And 
and yeah, it's definitely something that I am, you know, w want to get. I was like, you know what? It's it's Sonic. It's 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 a piece of relic, if you can call it that, and it's in it's an original box, so it's not bad. Now, in terms of where you can get this, I got this off a, a Japanese website, and I bought it. Now, do I speak Japanese? Obviously not. I have a friend who lives in Japan who bought this for me on my behalf, which I thank her very much for. Now, how much did I get it for? I got this for like, I think, $60, 65 thereabouts. I got other miscellaneous items as well, but this is, I think, 60 bucks. It's a little steep, seeing as it's not my most favorite item, but it's an item that I necessarily wanted to get just for display purposes and for anybody to be like, oh my god, you're old school. I'm like, yeah, man, just like you. So, yeah, that's um, pretty much it, really, in regards to this. Now, in terms of rarity, look, uh, if you're a hard, hard, you know, I have to have every single piece of collection or Sonic related, which to some extent I, I think I am, maybe that sort of person, but. I'm pretty sure there's even people hardcore than me. This might be considered extremely rare to you. Um, I'll probably maybe put this maybe six and a half stars out of ten. You know, it does pop up. You know, I got I found this on a US, you know, a, a US seller who sold a whole bunch of stuff and I picked this up. I got this from a Japanese website, so it does pop up every so often. So, you know, but for everyday collectors, I suppose it really depends. This item to me, it's kind of like very depending on how much of a fan you are and selective. I know like for example certain fans only collect bashes, certain fans collect merchandise which is myself, stuff like that. So yeah it really depends really. Um, I'm just going to give it six, six and a half stars out of ten. It might be rare, might be not. You know what, leave me a comment, let me know actually what's your thoughts on this. Um, I'm not a totally big fan of this item to be honest but it's an item I just wanted to pick up for two reasons. A Sonic and B Nostalgic Effect. Anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed this review as much as I did like making them and obviously mixing up my words and making myself look more unintelligent than usual. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more times. Anyway guys, speed on!